All right, we got uh, D. Ted Harris. We got D. Bob Long over there, and D. Sonny Smith. Get ready for the uh, benchmark Twilight Crit. See if we can qualify for the uh, amateur finals tonight, 5:45, and then we'll watch the pros at eight. It's gonna be sick. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, benchmark Twilight Crit. Uh, this is year two for me. Uh, last year I tried to qualify and did not make it. Um, this year definitely uh, felt more prepared and been racing a bunch. I think I put in like 30 races so far this year and love the course um, and definitely stayed up front at the uh, point of the spear as much as possible. So going through that chicane, um, it's usually single file for us, so that's a benefit, and you don't have to uh, follow um, a bunch of um, dudes side by side uh, through that chicane. And then coming up that hill, it's nice to be towards the front because then um, everybody's pretty much keeping the same pace. When you get back to the group, you know, uh, behind the first third, then it starts getting bunchy and people are slowing down, braking, accelerating, and it's a mess. So here comes nine to go. And um, that's Kurt Dodds there. And uh, Kurt, um, great racing with you, dude. Um, I noticed that I, I believe, yep, you won on Sunday at the main line, uh, Crit. So nice job. And I know you're gonna get frustrated at me a couple times because I'm not like, pulling through as hard as you would like me to on the um, mini breaks or the trying to get separation. Uh, but in the back of my mind, I knew I was doing the amateur final later on tonight or later on that night and definitely was uh, not ready to just like go all out and full gas it. Um, tried to save some wattage for the PM show. And uh, so, yeah, but it was awesome racing with you. You're strong and smart, and so I knew um, I, I wanted to follow you as much as I could. Um, here it is coming up this hill, and uh, this was a good punch. So a couple times um, 
And, and notice what Kurt does. I mean, he's constantly aware. You know, he's looking for me. He's looking for the group. And this is where I think he raises his hand, like, come on, dude. And, and I hear you, man. Um, I was just trying to save some. All, all I needed, of course, was top 20 uh, to make it to the finals. And I noticed in the 2-3 that um, there was 30 slots available for qualifying and everybody qualified. And yep, there were some sandbaggers in the 2-3. Great strategy. I should, I should have probably hopped in the 2-3 and done the same thing. Um, but it's all good. Um, it's racing, right? Um, I will put together the uh, short video for the time that I spent in the PM finale. All right, so there goes Super Dave. And of course, everybody knows Super Dave. And then sure enough, um, being super aware, um, Kurt grabs his wheel too. So uh, what was it? What was that? Eight to go now, I think. And you can almost run a straight line through that chicane and keep pedaling. Um, it really wasn't um, too difficult to do that. And Super Dave ended up, I think, taking second in the mainline crit the next day, too. So, uh, Super Dave, nice job. Always great racing with you, too. Um, and so, yep, these guys kick it up to the left. Um, and we're going to start to accelerate to catch on. And then Kurt's going to start looking back and see what we've got. Um, he's probably trying to drop me <laughs> along with everybody else. Um, totally understand it. Um, so, but uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, me, six, and I think there was one guy behind me for seven. And then there was a pretty uh, decent gap. It was probably only like uh, four or five seconds, but um, no one cut, you know, you can see we're slowing down to zero watts and um, the guy up front pulls off and we're still doing 29, 30, 31 and you know with enough effort we probably could have um, I think what happens here is we get up and over the hill and I think we still had separation so I think we're trying to I think right here this is where um, Kurt's saying let's go and I'm saying yeah let's go and, um, and we're down to 26 miles an hour when we probably should have stayed up to 30. And coming up this hill, we're still gonna push it almost 800 watts. And then I think by the time we look over our shoulders um, around this left-hand turn, I think the group is starting to catch on to us. And um, I'm trying to pull through and I didn't know which side Kurt wanted me to pull on. Yes, he threw the left elbow, um, but I was kind of um, looking over my shoulder, Kurt, so I'm sorry, bad timing. And then, yeah, the, the group was on us. So, um, again, I will, um, <laughs> as long as the scenario allows, Kurt, I will jump in and crush it the next time we ever get in a race. Um, so, something's up with my GoPro it doesn't like going super wide it just burns it up and then it shuts off so I'm gonna lose footage here I started it late so it wouldn't overheat but I think that's what's going on I got to get a new camera I do not want to lose out on of course the finish so unfortunately there is no finish for me um, for here uh, for this video um, but guys it was great racing with you and uh, congrats on the mainline crit. Um, so let's see, I think we, uh, I don't know if we're down to like six to go. But, uh, you know, at toward the end, uh, the group started to bunch up with a lap to go. And I bolted to the right hand side, stayed in front before the final chicane and got in a decent position. So um, I was able to get top 10, the 10th spot uh, for the 45 plus. So great job, guys.